What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, this is a donation request. This is for Rob. This is XTC, the man who sailed around his soul. Of their ninth album, their 1986 album, Skylarking. We're going to check this out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, all kinds of ways you can get. Super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section, leave a link, leave a description, let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Okay, so Skylarking, their ninth album, 1986, produced by Todd Rundgren. Loose concept album about non-specific cycles such as a day, a year, a se the seasons, or a life. Title refers to a type of bird as well as the Royal Navy term skylarking, which means fooling around. It became one of XTC's best-known albums and is generally regarded as their finest work that they didn't get a penny for. <laughs> this Listening to this would be much more enjoyable if I didn't know that they never made any money on any of their music. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so, Pop Rock Psychedelia. Okay, so, this song, The Man Who Sailed Around His Souls is an existential beatnik song that just says you're born, you live, and you die, Partridge explained. Why look for the meaning of life when all there is is death and decay? Oh, damn. I mean, I suppose that's accurate, but you're also only seeing the one side of the two sides, right? If there's death and decay, there's also birth, life, and right, and growth. <laughs> there's all of it, right? The melody was inspired by a Nat King Cole version of Nature Boy. Oh. R Rungren's arrangement was based on the music of the 60s spy films. Oh, my wife would love that because she talks about <laughs> music sounding like that, like Steely Dan. She's like, it sounds like it's like a spy movie or something. Or some kind of like that kind of thing. Okay. Which happened to be in an idiom similar to Mermaid Smiled. Partridge. I had in my head that I really wanted to outdo Mac the Knife. Wow. The Bobby Darren version. And it sounded like a spy film title to me. So I thought it'd be great to do sort of a John Barry secret agent soundtrack thing. I said to Todd, ideally make it like a beatnik existential spy movie soundtrack. Can such a thing be done? And literally he went away overnight and came back with the charts for this stuff. Partridge instructed Prince to drum like a jazz junkie drummer. On his performance, Prince surmised that he may have unconsciously channeled the influence of big band drummer Gene Krupa. Okay, okay, so look at this. Tight three and a half minute pop song, wow. Love it. All right, let's, uh, let's check this out. The man who sailed around his soul, bam. Yeah, B Nick, you gotta throw. Right? The snaps in. The man who sailed around his soul from east to west, from pole to pole, with eager as his drunken captain greed. The mutineer had trapped all reason in the hole. The man who walked across his heart and took no compass, guide, or chart to rope and tie his blood congeal when he found himself. J. 
pretty cool that was all right i think i think that uh i think that they definitely accomplished what they were going after okay so in order to get that beatnik thing you have to like you got to have your finger snaps you gotta have your little bongo right as if we're right the beat kitchen doing a poetry slam all of that uh you got that flute going yeah i think all that definitely helped overall you know it kind of sounds like at first when the drums came in, I was like, oh, because it, it seems like it would swing, but they're not swing. It's not, it's not a swing. <laughs> they're not swinging, right? They, he played it really straight. Yeah, I like the stuff when, when the song really kicked in. I like the stuff that was coming in out, whether it was the horn kind of stuff or the guitar stuff. I mean, the song itself, I thought was, I thought was cool. I definitely think that what they were going after, they they got. It totally sounds like spy film, film music, a theme, you know, like a show theme. Definitely sounds like that. So I think that that's cool. But I think that a real jazz band or somebody with that kind of sensibility would probably do it better and pull it off better. This kind of sounds like a like a like a pop rock band doing it. <laughs> I think they did a good job for that, but I'm like, I was like, okay, what if Al Jarreau was singing it? <laughs> you know, how would that sound? What, a, you know, and, and, and had like a, like a band like that, like an Al Jarreau style or, or, or better even like more jazz really, really doing it. Then it would really, really come off even better probably. But I thought that they did fine, actually. I thought it was, an, you know, I thought it was, an, it was interesting. Yeah, I think that uh, what they were going after with what I read on this, they got. So that's a so win to me. I mean, if I was trying to do that and that's what I got, that makes sense. I don't really get jazz junkie drummer, but whatever. I mean, I thought it was good. I did, actually. I thought it was good. It was cool. So yeah, remember, finger snaps flute bongos and have that kind of like singing style in your voice i mean everybody that they're saying saying here nat king called nature boy mac the knife right yeah uh-huh yeah loungy but yeah that whole spy thing definitely i think they got that cool all right thank you guys very much catch you in the next video